today, I'm here at Glen in Pensacola, Florida. Glen has built a couple of awesome trucks and uh, I wanted to spend some time with him and really share with you guys what he's done because he's done some really awesome work. So Glenn, why don't you tell us about the Toyota and and what, what you've done? It's a 84 Toyota. Um, when I first got the truck, I was talking about putting a diesel in it and uh, started with the uh, Volkswagen is where it all started from. And then I found you, Ben's Force, and just kind of went from there with it. So you were going to head in the uh, Volkswagen TDI route? Right. That was the then, first uh, first thing I looked at. So of all the engines though, why a 6, 617 for Mercedes instead of something else? Well, five cylinder compared to four, more power. Um, that was the biggest thing. But the, the fitment also seems pretty good. You couldn't really go much larger, I think. No, you, a lot of problems. I was, I was thinking about after I did this one, I was going to put the 606 in something like this, but it won't fit. It's too big. Okay. Um, the extra cylinder just makes it too big. So it's not exactly a stock 606. Um, got it bolted up to the Toyota transmission. Yep, right? five speed. All right. the plate came from uh, Doom Today Diesel. Okay. And uh, why don't you tell us about uh, the power? What'd you do to give it more power? Um, got a pump from Ben's Force and uh, put it on here. Had way too much power the first one. Sent it back to Ben's Force. They tuned it down a little bit. And uh, after that, it's right where it needs to be. Okay, and I can't remember. I apologize. I think this one's a HX30 from the look of, looks of it. Yeah, HX30. Yep, HX30. Okay. Put an HX30 turbo on it. So are you uh, still happy with that selection? Yeah. Or, yeah. Yep. Everything's fine except you can't put an air cooler on. It. Yeah, a little a little crowded. Yeah. I have a feeling you can you can overcome that if you need to, but you just may not need to. No, it, it's fine like it is. Okay. Right on. So you mentioned uh, there's a couple things you might want to do to change it up. And uh, as you guys will probably see in the video, he's, it's very clean install. Everything looks really top notch. So, what would you possibly want to change about this? Um, I just recently purchased the M pump, and I want to get it built and put it on here so I can fine tune it because the black smoke. I don't like the black smoke. Okay. Um, I like the power, but I don't like the roll cold. Sure. So with the other with the M pump, you can fine tune it to where you get plenty of power and no smoke. Okay, and you mentioned possibly a cold air intake in time. Yep. Um, Trying to do a cold air intake on it, kind of get that heat away from the uh, intake. So, about how long would you say you spent? Every project's different, so this isn't a judgment <laughs> thing. But uh, the level of, of detail you have, I imagine this took them out quite a bit of time. So, how long do you think you you spent doing this project together? I've been working on this for three years. Three years? I don't think that's bad. No. So that's awesome. That's well, a lot. That's great. But uh, you also have another ride over there, which has uh, the same engine that I I prefer. Yep. And I'm, the 617. I'm still um, still getting involved with the 606. I'm quite familiar with. So the 606 is a uh, it's a monster. <laughs> so what? So having a a vehicle that you completed with the 617 swap what what led you then to search for the 606 was it a quest for more power or was it just a mystery and the, the rumors or well I, I i seen on the internet one day where of course the 606 had an extra cylinder more power and all this and it just so happens i had a friend of mine that uh, had a car that he actually maintained for some people and uh, they were getting rid of it and i bought the whole car for 500 dollars. okay so Anybody that's watching this, uh, buying a whole E300 with a 606 in it for $500 is uh, something that rarely, if ever, happens. Yeah. So you got to steal on that. Yeah. Uh, my first 606 with transmission, um, I wanted one really bad. Uh, nationwide junkyard search, we found three. So I bought it and it was, uh, I think, $2,700. Yeah. So, and I've come across them cheaper, but it's, it's just very rare and they're becoming even more scarce now. So. Yeah, there, there's not a lot of them out there. I've actually been looking for some and uh, they're not there. Right. So as you'll see in the uh, the video, uh, this, this install is probably even, in my opinion, nicer than the other. I mean, it, again, the attention to detail, everything looks great. Of course, having more room helps quite a bit, but uh, everything's painted up, looks great. 
So why don't you tell us about what you did in terms of fuel and air? This one here has got the uh, cold, well, the intercooler there? Intercooler, yep. yep. Put an intercooler on this one. The 617 does not have. Uh, to me, it makes a big difference in the uh, EGTs being high and low. Um, had the pump built by Ben's Force. This one's got the 7.5, I think. Yep, is what it is. Um, plenty of power. Now, I can't remember the fueling. I should have looked. I, I think you're somewhere in the 90 to 110 cc's, if I had to guess. Is I that think about? so. I'm, yeah. I'm not 100 percent sure. Um, I didn't look into all that. I just sent it to you. And <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't right. know what y'all did to it. That's fair. This one's got the uh, HX221 on it. Is that it? It is. Yep, HE221, -E and again, I can't remember if you're a five and a half or a seven centimeter. I, I should have looked before I came. Seven millimeter. Seven, yeah. okay. So of course, on the 606, to get that turbo to work, we've had to fabricate a bracket for the uh, the wastegate so that you can clock the turbo. Yeah. As, uh, as Glenn has done, you've got to take the turbo apart. There's a couple pins in there to keep it oriented. You pull those out, and with the bracket, then you can you can uh, arrange the core how you need to to allow the, uh, the oil to drain correctly. So, awesome. Um, again, super clean. And uh, if you had to do anything different on either one of these trucks, what, what would you do different? I don't think anything. That's good. That means you took your time and yeah. you, you built it the way you wanted to the first time. I spend a lot of time on both of these. Okay, so. I got them just like I want them. Just, so along those lines, not necessarily changing anything, but it, do you have any future plans that you want to do to this? To uh, more performance or drivability or are you just are you done you're happy and you want to just enjoy it well for right now i'm happy with it uh, i'm gonna drive it for a while and see if it needs any changes if it does then we'll we'll be calling it bench for awesome i appreciate <laughs> that and um again glenn from pensacola glenn i really appreciate uh the business and really i think we've become uh text and call buddies yeah. <laughs> once in a while so uh yeah. i really enjoy you know the correspondence with you and yeah I, I do call you a lot and uh, just again seeing the the level of work and how clean these vehicles are I'm, I'm just I'm thoroughly impressed so thank you thank you for sharing with us thank you mm -hmm.